hey everybody, welcome back to another episode, oops, I crashed through everything, um, welcome back to another episode, probably the final episode, well, probably, it, it's definitely going to be the final episode of my Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening remake Let's Play, um, yeah, sorry about that noise a second ago, as, as I've said before, um, my setup is super slapdash here, I'm just kind of like set up in my living room, which is why you'll often hear me banging into things, or hear cats running through, or what have you. Uh, anyway, so we've got a couple of things to do. The final dungeon is actually quite short, uh, so I figured I would just wrap up a few little odds and ends before we head over there. Um, you may notice I've actually got a few more hearts than I had before, and actually I've got quite a bit more seashells than I had before. Uh, I did a few little things off camera, um, mostly just back in the fishing and the crane mini games. Um, nothing too exciting. A few little odds and ends that I found that were lying around in um, unknown places. But uh, yeah, I wanted to max that stuff out as much as possible so um, we could go into the end of the game strong. Um, but you didn't really miss anything. Like I said, it was the, there was a bunch of stuff in the crane game. There's a few things I did in the fishing mini games. All the same crap. Um, and actually, the one mini game that I will be showing you momentarily. Um, but before that, we have to do something that we should have done way back at the beginning of the game, <laughs> and we're doing it at the very end because I got sloppy and forgot. Oh, an ocarina, you say? Ocarina? Ocarina? Who knows? Who cares? The only thing I know is that I found one in the trash at work, and now that's in my office. Oh, we're gonna get our uh, takedown order because we're using this, like, classic music. I've actually been really surprised. Um, we have largely been pummeled <laughs> with uh, with copyright non-compliance things for various game background music, uh, particularly during the Final Fantasy Let's Play that I did. Um, aw. <laughs> no. Yes. It, no, it's a good song. I'm not going to insult her. All right. There we go. Ballad of the Windfish. I don't, I don't know if she wrote it or... Aw. I think this one does kind of cycle through in some of the other uh, Legend of Zelda soundtracks as well. Kind of implying that Link didn't ever forget, even though, you know, I've discussed at length, it's not the same Link. I won't... For oh, poor Marin. All right, well, that's the last song that we need. Oh, I actually had it quick too. Um, oh, and you'll notice I've got our shovel back as well. Um, I totally forgot you... So in the original version, uh, whatever you traded for the boomerang, um, it wasn't it wasn't gone, per se. It's not like you lose it forever. Um, you can always trade the boomerang back for it, but I think it was something just with the menu or the RAM of the system or something that, like... Uh, I shouldn't say RAM, the, the space of the, the cartridge that, like, you just couldn't fit all of the items in your inventory, so you had to trade something for the boomerang. Um, obviously, that is not as much of a problem in, with a Nintendo Switch cartridge as it might be in a, a original Game Boy cartridge. Um, so you can actually buy your shovel back from that guy. I totally forgot about that, so I did. Because uh, one of the things I did is I went and re-dug up that seashell uh, on the mountain that we needed. Um, that was one of the things. Whee! All right, so one other thing. I actually did this ahead of time because I wanted to save us some time, but I want to show you. So before you go into the final dungeon, you have to go to this book over here, Dark Secrets and Mysteries of Coland. Do you really want to read? I sure do. Uh, so this is actually what you need the magnifying glass for. If you don't have that, the text is too small. <laughs> you can't read it. Um, this is really, really important. You need to know this. And I I think it's randomized each time you play the game, but I'm not 100% sure. Now that I'm looking at it again, um, I did write it. Like I said, I wrote it down ahead of time so that we wouldn't have to sit here while I scribble everything. But um, you need to know that for yeah, to get through the final dungeon. Um, otherwise, you will just get stuck forever, actually. Um, all right, I'm going to do one, well, two things. 
we are going to teleport over to the animal village for a second. That's so much more convenient than in the original version. Uh, and watch this not do what I thought it was going to do. Anyway, they, they did definitely move uh, a seashell over here. Uh, but I think I remember how to get the new version. Alright, so we're getting the seashell charm here. So I think what we need to do... Or not. There we go. All right. Uh, there we Okay. I don't look like an idiot. <laughs> um, in the original version, you played that and you just poke his head up all excited, thinking it was Marin, and then be like, oh, it's not her. Whatever, dude. And would just bail. Um, in this version, he gives you a seashell. Uh, in the old version, I'm pretty sure it was under one of these things that you had to either blow up or pick up or something. They don't seem to want to move, though. Um, but whatever. Okay, so that gives us 40 seashells, which should open up another item for us, which I, I think is the last... Well, obviously it's not the last one, but I think that gives us the <laughs> last thing that I need to do for this... Uh, Let's play. I don't remember what you get for the totally maxing it out, because that's that's different. So long. Alright. This better be what I think it is. Okay, yeah. Yes. This is exactly it. Yay! <laughs> Link is like a small child who writes his name on all of his possessions so that people don't take it. So, yeah. So that powers up our sword. So we get this, this totally sweet beam attack. Uh, and we hit a little bit harder, too. So that combined with the offense boost... Um, we should really be tearing it up at this point. So, I don't... There's obviously something you get for ten more seashells. I don't know what it is, though, because it wasn't in the original version. Um, and I'm pretty sure all of the remaining seashells are uh, part of this obnoxious minigame. Well, there's the one that's uh, sort of in the face dungeon that I think we forgot to get, but that's whatever. That's a seashell. Okay, so before we go into the final dungeon, I just want to show you one other little thing. So this is another mini game that was added in this version. So you may remember Dompe. He's the uh, the grave digger from, I think it was Ocarina of Time, which, I don't know, I guess people like him. So he's started to show up in all the other games. Anyway... He runs a fun little mini game here where you can make your own kind of randomized dungeons, basically. Um, and they they don't exactly have treasure in them. You're basically just getting money out of them. Um, well, okay, let me just jump in for a second. I'll show you. Okay, so this is one that I just made a couple minutes ago because I, I didn't want to waste all of our time um, making 100 million dungeons while you watched because it's not super exciting. But anyway, so you get all of these like room templates and they're all based off of the dungeons that are throughout the rest of the game. Um, so, you know, you'll recognize most of them. There, there's a few new ones, but they're all essentially plays off of standard stuff. Um, so you can arrange these rooms and you just pick one and then you would put it down on your on your map. Uh, you can kind of tell though this room is, is like a reddish maroon where these are blue. Um, the game won't let you, as far as I know, the game won't let you play a busted dungeon. So you can't go into a dungeon that you can't finish. Which means that every dungeon has to have a starting point, this little green triangle, 
uh, a boss over here. Well, I'm giving away who our boss is, but whatever. Uh, and it needs to have at least one treasure chest because you need to get the boss key to open the boss room. Um, also, you have to have an even number of stairwells uh, because all of your stairs need to match up. Um, you can't have stairs to nowheres. Um, sorry. Uh, and the game also won't open certain rooms until you've completed certain dungeons. Uh, so you can't get stuck, like, trying to complete a room that you need an item that you don't have for. Uh, the game will also, Dompei will also refill all of your expendables before you go in. So you're not going to, like, run out and get stuck, presumably. Um, anyway, I'm going to remove, oops, remove that thing. Um, so, yeah, you can make these little kind of randomized dungeons and play through them. It's sort of fun, I guess. I did a little bit of it when I played through originally, but I, I didn't want to waste a lot of our time uh, in this Let's Play doing it. This should be pretty quick. I'm going to just run through this one real quick so you can at least see one example. I mean, this is a big thing that they put into this game, the, like, dungeon generator. Um, oh, boy. Uh, you can keep any money that you take out of it. It, it is kind of a good way to... Um, yeah, you can see I'm really doing quite a number on these guys. Um, so, yeah, you can see... Yeah. <laughs> uh, you keep any money that you take out of it, and sometimes it can be a pretty good way to rack up money quickly. I mean, you'll see I've got... Well, you can't see my full amount until I get out of here. Um, ah. I don't think if you die that you, like... Um, oops. I don't think if you die, you actually will, like, croak. I, I think you'll... Uh, you know, cat nonsense in the other room. Oh, come on. I don't think if you die that you actually, like, will stay dead. I think they just boot you out of the room. Um, you do have to collect all of the treasure chests as well. Oops. Whatever. Um, you do have to pick up all of the treasure chests as well. Uh, the first couple will usually be keys. Again, they, they don't want you to lock yourself out of the, the dungeon. Um, oh, my sword breaks the pots and the jars now. Uh, oh, that's a good one. Yeah, so if there's enough treasure chests, you can walk out of here with quite a bit of money. It's a good way to quickly refill your coffers. Um, and Dompe will, uh, when you hit certain milestones with completing these, these handmade dungeons, these these bespoke curated dungeons. Um, he'll give you items and things. So that's, I think that's how I got a seashell. That's how I got a few heart pieces. Um, nuts to these clowns. Um, it's fine. It's a fine little mini game, especially if, you know, you've played Link's Awakening a hundred thousand times like I have. It's kind of a fun little way to uh, expand the game a little bit. You don't actually... Don't get hit. Ow, oh, damn it. Um, ugh. Um, you don't actually set uh, what these underground areas are, though. Alright, hold on a second. I gotta go take care of something. Of course, there's shenanigans going on. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that. Various animal-related shenanigans. Oh, shoot. Is this a... Ugh. Yes, it is. Alright. I gotta remember how to... Alright, remember this... Ooh. So, um, you do have to get all the treasure chests because the last one. Oh, damn it. 
uh, the, the last one will always be the, the boss key. So if you don't get all of them, you can't fight the boss. All right, there we go. Remember that room <laughs> from that dungeon? I was sure I remembered how to do, and it was literally the one method that I hadn't tried. Ugh. Getting a lot of trash today. Yeah, I don't think you get any, like, heart pieces or, um, whoops, or seashells or anything inside these dungeons, as far as I know. Uh, and I do think the... I put a few mini-bosses in here just to shake things up. Um... And I also figured I would absolutely decimate them by this point. Um, that's this guy again. <laughs> I've certainly felt that way sometimes too, buddy. Um, I'm not exactly sure. I haven't really done any research into this. Whether, like, putting more treasure chests makes the individual rewards of them go down. Because, I mean, we're, we're drawing a lot of real crap. Um, or whether, like, the difficulty of the rooms has anything to... Oops. Uh, whether the difficulties of the rooms have anything to do with it or, or what, really. Um... Uh, I don't know. I, we did put a lot of treasure chests into this dungeon, and they're they're turning out to be pretty crummy. Uh, where are we going here? Yeah, we're basically done. Yeah, these things. Ugh. At least we're going the other way. Um, these things are all pretty easy. You know, they they go pretty quick. There's various little challenges that Dompe gives you that you have to finish. Um, wait a minute, did I miss? Oh, no, it's right there. Yeah, like I said, you want to make sure you get all the treasure chests, because if you don't, you can't finish the level. I probably should have picked a different boss, too, because... Uh, the face guy, which I know, spoilers, I, I already showed who the boss was. Uh, the face guy I have to kill with bombs, so I can't just level him with my powered up sword. They don't, um, they don't talk to you or anything again, they just kind of, oops. That is one annoying thing. Oh, right, the, uh, the powered up sword blast that I have only, only works when you're at full health. Um, oops. Oops. Ooh, that's gonna hit him. Yeah. He uses the uh, items to try and knock the bombs away from him. Which is, I mean, it's, it's smart. <laughs> it's the only way you can die, so. Alright. Then you just get booted out, and Dompe gives you a little prize. Uh, there's also, like, free play dungeons. Haha, <laughs> not me, buddy. Oh boy, what did I get? Oh, more rooms. Yeah, and as you, as you finish the challenges... Oh, there's some stuff you can get with amiibos in this, too. I don't remember. I think it's, like, some extra rooms or something. Uh, I think I have the amiibos, but I didn't bother using them because I don't care that much. All right. Just gonna save the game real quick. Um, all right, uh, we're pretty much ready to go. Actually, only 15 powder. What? Did he take powder away? I thought I had full full charge of powder. I think we need a little bit of powder up ahead, but 15 should be plenty. Um, I never found that other station that boosts your powder. I thought it was up in the mountains, but ooh. No, that's not gonna matter anyways. 
by the time we could use this, it, it will have been expended. All right. So yeah, this is it. Final, final dungeon. Uh, we've got all the cool stuff. There it is. Open up the last little bit of our map. Um, so you can go here much earlier in the game, and the owl will talk to you, and you can kind of see things. But this is what we're here for. We got to play the song to wake up the windfish. And all of our all of our instruments should help us out. I don't know if Link. I like to imagine Link is playing them all. And I'm sorry I'm talking over this music. I just don't want us to get hit with the copyright issue. Um, like I was saying earlier, though, I was kind of surprised uh, we haven't gotten anything like that, and I feel like there's been much more omnipresent game audio in this one, since it is all about music, um, than in, like, the Final Fantasy ones or anything like that. Uh, but yeah, I like to imagine, you know, these instruments are all floating and playing themselves, but I, I like to imagine that Link is playing them all at the same time, kind of one-man band style, just, uh, just going to town up there on the mountain. While everyone watches, sort of uncomfortably. <laughs> uh oh, what's going on? What's going on? It's gonna bust open. This is gonna make the sweetest omelet ever. Oh. All right, in we go. Now, is that stupid owl gonna come talk to us again? Yeah, I figured that out when the egg cracked open. I was, um, was like, knock over my microphone. Um, I was listening to one of my old episodes when I was doing editing before posting, uh, and I was talking about kind of the dumbing down of the Zelda series. <laughs> yeah, when he's like, when you bust open a door and the, the guy shows up to tell you to go through the door. Oh, right. Down we go. Okie dokie. Um, so I think if we go back, it boots us out. So this is it. This is what we have to remember the directions for that uh, we wrote down from that book. Well, I wrote down in the book. I guess if you've got a better memory than me, you can just memorize it. Um, but yeah, if you, if you don't have these directions worked out, you will just wander around in here forever. And it will be very frustrating. Ta-da! Easy peasy. All right, down we go. <laughs> See, he went to do that totally sweet jump and then like flailed around like a, you know. Uh oh. That's not good. Yeah, well, that's what Link does. Well, we'll see about that. Oh boy, he's very eager to fight. Um, so this thing has a bunch of different forms, and I remember how to fight most of them. It's Okay, yeah, I think we need... Ooh. Ah. Wasn't it powder that you used There we go, okay. Oof, I do not want to run out of powder. <laughs> he hits pretty hard, too. Alright. That should have done that. Here. Hey, look who it is. It's our old buddy Agnum the Wizard from, uh. Oop, no, right. I want to dodge those. Yeah, this guy hits kind of hard, so. You don't want to screw around during this fight. Uh, as much as I've got a ton of health right now, that can go pretty fast. Uh, he doesn't do the. Whoop. He doesn't do the lightning bolt attacks that Agnum used to do that would just wallop you. Um. Oh, stupid. Face the right way, genius. Ugh. 
missed my chance. Yeah, I I do like how um, the shadow kind of forms around Link when it first shows up. It's kind of like it's searching his memories to find... Alright, so that's that. I think this next form is a mite tricky. Oh, no, it's just this. This should be pretty easy. I lost my... Uh oh. Alright. Took a little bit of a walloping, but that's okay. Ooh, look who it is. get hit with those. Come on, come on, stop. Ah. Ugh. I don't know if I can kill these bats or not. Probably not. I want to try to avoid this. us over pretty good. Now, this is why you accumulate all that health. So yeah, and this is the same, essentially the same Ganon battle as, uh, there we go. All right. And that should, down. Alright, this should be it then. Uh, there we go. That'll help. Alright, final form. Final form, come on. Ah. Um... In the, in the, oops, in the original version, uh, the boomerang does quite a bit of damage to this guy. It's less so here, obviously. Try a sword strike. Or not. Just, just throw the boomerang, I guess. That's fine. Whoop. Whoa. A shot there. Um, yeah. Whoa. Oh, speeding up a little bit. There we go. Whoa. Um, ah. Oh, shoot. Wrong way. But yeah, I, I like the idea that it kind of like the nightmare drew forth. Uh, Link's memories to uh, uh, to come up with things to fight him with. This guy's kind of like uh, getting quick. Come on, come on, come on. Can't be too much more. Come on. There we go. All right, we did it. Well, these things happen, you know. We can't get all bent out of shape out of every little thing. Um, so yeah, I think this was the first Zelda game where Ganon was not the boss, but I do like how like you have to fight Agnum in the Ganon shadow again. It's kind of neat. Hey, it's the owl. All right, we did it, everybody. Let's see. Uh, let's see what happens. I'm sure nothing bad will come of our actions. This should be all parties and pizza from here on out. I sure did. You see that sweet boomerang action? Just like the Triforce. It's a 
the owl is sort of the the avatar of the windfish. That's nice of him. He's an alright guy, even though he slowed our time down a lot and acted as a largely unnecessary tutorial. Oh boy, here we go. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> dot, 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 indeed. Yeah, he kind of looks like some kind of drag queen space whale, which... I guess it's a pretty good look. I mean, if you can pull it off, and I guess he does. Oh, let's not get out of control here. Verily it is. Uh-oh. Does it, though? I mean, I remember a lot of my dreams. Uh, I'm pretty sure they didn't happen, though. Well, I mean, Marin really has no one to blame but herself. She taught me the song to wake up the windfish. Mm, boy. Now, the beach monsters clearly have the same emotional... Uh, weight as all of these characters that we spent tons of... Oh. There she goes. So long. I wonder if there were, like, sailors outside, like, seeing this island just, like, up and vanish. It would look like the, the apocalypse. Whoa. It's like, um, it's an inception, how they wake people up by, like, dumping them in water in one scene. That's what Link should have done. He should have tried to dream, um, gr grenade launchers and, uh, automatic weapons. So the, the thrust is kind of like, did Link just imagine all of that? Remember the game started with his uh with his shipwreck and then he kinda wakes up in the wreckage. <laughs> you know, I I'll uh what Oh, another storm. No, it's the windfish. It was real. That'd be pretty terrifying to see a flying whale out on the sea. I mean, I guess with Link's adventure just now, he knows it's a bit more benevolent. But it's a little shocking. Um, <laughs> I was just thinking to myself, like, well, okay, he survived the dream, but he is still stuck on, like, wreckage in the middle of the ocean, and, like... Even in a non-fantasy world, there's, like, sharks and stuff out in the water, and also, like, you need to eat and drink pretty regularly. Um, so I know I said that this game is the direct sequel to... <laughs> this is getting really dark all of a sudden towards the end, this sweet-natured game. But, um, y yeah, so this is the, the direct sequel to uh, Link to the Past where, uh, you know, Link decided at the end of that to go off and train to, to get stronger so he could protect the Triforce. Uh, there's no sequel to this game, as far as I know. 
So did Link just like die out there on the wreckage then? <laughs> he just died of thirst floating on detritus in the midst of his wrecked ship. I'm, I mean, I'm sure that didn't happen. That's not uh, that's not Nintendo's way. It's just kind of funny. Like it's this happy, you know, upbeat ending when like, eh, you, you did essentially wipe out an entire island, uh, you know, existed whether it really existed or not. And, you know, he's still trapped out in the, <laughs> the middle of uh, nowhere, just floating on a, a log essentially. I mean, I, I'm, I would imagine the windfish wouldn't just let him die there. That would be kind of crummy of him. But, uh, well, then again, if the windfish is like some kind of, uh, you know, Cthulhu other god, uh, outer god, like the, the ones in Elden Ring, uh, maybe he doesn't care about Link. Link was just serving a purpose for him to wake him up, and now he's off on his next adventure. <laughs> anyway, sorry, this shouldn't get so dark at the end. You know, we did it, everybody. We won another successful Let's Play. So, yeah, yeah, I hope I hope you had fun watching along with me through this game. I feel like I fumbled up a bit. Considering that this is a game that I have played like a hundred million times, um, I'm going to... Oh, this is the old music back in, the old 8-bit music looping in. Um... I'm going to blame all of my mistakes on little things that they changed in this version as opposed to the original version. Um, but uh, yeah, I hope you had fun watching this along with me. As, as I've said before, this is also one of my favorite games. It's one that I've played a lot. Uh, oh, we might get our secret scene. So because I never died, uh, if, if you never die throughout the game, you get one extra little scene at the end, which is a little unusual for a, a Zelda game. Usually there's not, like, secret endings or anything. But, let's see. I totally forget how it goes in this version. Wait for it. Oh, look at that. Okay, that <laughs> that may mean nothing to any of you, but if you recall several episodes ago, she did have that moment where, I do want to save my cleared game, uh, when you have that long talk with Marin on the beach, she talks about how if she's ever reincarnated, she wants to be reincarnated um, as a seagull so that she could fly away and see other lands, and so that's... That's kind of the implication at the end there, is that uh, even though everything disappeared, that she did get her wish, and she... You know, I don't know if I want to be a dirty seagull, but hey, you know, I'm not Marin. I, you, you do you, lady. Um, that she did get her wish and was able to, in some form, venture out and see the rest of the world, which is kind of nice. In the original version, um, there was this sort of generic wing sprite that they would use for anything that flew that was just kind of like a little... Uh, maybe I'll try to edit it in here if I can, but uh, in the original version, she just, like, kind of flies by her sprite with, like, wings on it. Just flies over the ending credit, which is a little bit uh, weirder. Uh, Marin does kind of turn up again in, in some of the other Zelda games. She gets repurposed into... I think she's in Ocarina of Time. Isn't she the one that runs the stables? She's in a few of the other games in various forms, although she's uh, highly in in those ones. So anyway, that was it. That was the end of the game. We saw it all. We saved slash destroyed the island. Uh, and I enjoyed having your company along for all of this. So I think we'll wrap it up here with this, this uh, picturesque shot of the egg. So thank you for joining me. I'll, I'll be starting another Let's Play. I've already decided what it's going to be. I, I'll leave that a secret till I post the first video, though. I'll be starting another Let's Play soon, and hopefully you'll join me for that as well. So until then, I've been Mike with Team Brothership, uh, and I hope you have a great week. I will see you real soon.